Tomo News presents Cloning. Are humans next? China successfully cloned monkeys using transfer DNA, marking the first time such a feat has been achieved and possibly paving the way for human cloning. Scientists in Shanghai have cloned two genetically identical macaques using the same technique that produced Dolly the sheep. Somatic cell nuclear transfer involves taking the nucleus of a cell, which contains its genetic material, and injecting it into an egg that has had its own nucleus removed. The egg cell is then treated with enzymes to stimulate embryo development, just like a naturally fertilized egg. In all, the researchers created 109 embryos and implanted them into 21 surrogate monkeys, resulting in six pregnancies but only two live births. The macaques named Zhong Zhong and Hua Hua aren't the first primates to be cloned, though. That distinction belongs to Tetra, a rhesus monkey created using a simpler embryo-splitting method. The Chinese team believes the monkey clones could be useful in medical research, specifically in the study of genetic diseases like Parkinson's or autism. All in the name of science. A team of scientists has recloned the world's first dog clone in a bid to find out if the process has an impact on a clone's health or lifespan. Dog clone Snuppy was created in 2005 using a stem cell from an Afghan hound and born via a surrogate Labrador mother. The original dog, named Tai, died from cancer when he was 12 years old. Snuppy would later live to age 10 before also succumbing to cancer, though not the same kind. When Snuppy was five years old, researchers collected his stem cells while also taking eggs from female dogs and taking out their nuclei. Using a process called somatic cell nuclear transfer, nuclei from stem cells were transferred into the empty eggs, then stimulated into dividing, creating over 94 embryos. The embryos were implanted into surrogates, resulting in the birth of four live reclones. Though one died from diarrhea days after birth, the remaining three are now nine months old and still healthy. Researchers say they will closely monitor the puppies and measure virtually all aspects of their lives, including growth, metabolism, immune system, and disease development. Stay tuned. Human cloning: the cure for diabetes. Scientists in New York announced on Monday that they had used human cloning techniques to create stem cells able to produce insulin, effectively curing diabetes. Type 1 diabetes occurs when the body's immune system destroys insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas, resulting in insulin deficiency and high blood sugar levels. For the first time, scientists have successfully replaced the damaged DNA of a type 1 diabetes sufferer with the healthy genetic material of an infant donor. The hope is that when these new cells are injected back into the diabetic patient, they will begin to produce insulin. The procedure would prevent the need for daily insulin injections and effectively cure the disease. Human organs grown in animals. Scientists have created human-sheep hybrids in hopes of one day growing human organs in animals. Researchers in California are working on reducing organ transplant rejections by using sheep and pig embryos to grow human organs. Scientists introduce adult stem cells into early-stage sheep embryos and then return them to the sheep to grow for three more weeks. They achieved sheep embryos where one in every 10,000 cells was human. In the U.S. last year, 34,770 organ transplants were performed, while 115,035 people are currently waiting for a transplant. Around 20 people die daily waiting for transplants. The research is still in its preliminary stages, but the scientists are optimistic that humans will one day receive organs grown in animals. Researchers have announced that they have created embryonic stem cells by the cloning of human skin cells. A human embryo is comprised of a few hundred cells. Scientists took DNA from the skin cells of an eight-month-old baby and transferred it into a hollow human egg cell. With the aid of chemicals, the egg multiplied until it formed an embryo genetically identical to the baby. Stem cells were extracted from the new embryo, which was destroyed in the process. The destruction of an embryo during stem cell extraction is what makes the process controversial. But scientists maintain that the embryos in this study would never have developed into fully formed humans. Man may never again have to fear losing his best friend. 
Korean company Suam Biotech says it can clone dogs, and to prove it, it's holding a competition to give one UK resident the chance to copy a pooch. The cloning process involves first obtaining skin cells from a living dog or one that died within the last five days. The DNA containing nucleus is then extracted from the donor dog's cell. The nucleus of a surrogate egg from another donor is enucleated and fused with the donor nucleus. The fused cell begins to multiply and grow. The fusion process eventually produces a cloned embryo. The embryo is then placed in a surrogate dog and the clone pup is delivered around 60 days later. Suam Biotech claims it can clone any breed, size, or shape of dog for around $100,000 per dog. Scientists hope the technique can one day be used to clone specialized rescue dogs or endangered animals. No ears, no problem. Chinese researchers have successfully grown ears for five children with microtia, using a procedure that used the kids' own cells. Microtia is a congenital deformity of the ear, the severity of which ranges from structural abnormalities to a complete absence of the external ear. The typical treatment for microtia is reconstructive surgery, often through rib cartilage ear reconstruction or silicone prosthetic ears. In China, scientists grew ears via a biodegradable scaffold that replicates the patient's normal ear. Cells from the microtia ear were seeded into the scaffold and cultured for three months. The new ears were then implanted to reconstruct ears in five patients and monitored for up to two and a half years. While the idea itself is not novel, what's groundbreaking is that the scientists were able to carry out the procedure successfully in a series of patients and had long-term results to boot. Scientists are trying to grow human organs in pigs. A team of scientists from the University of California, Davis, are attempting to produce human pig embryos in order to grow human organs in pigs. To grow a human organ, such as a pancreas, in a pig, one must first remove the DNA that is responsible for growing a pig's pancreas from a fertilized pig embryo using a technique known as CRISPR gene editing. A void is created after the gene editing, and human-induced pluripotent stem cells are then injected into the embryo to fill the void. The human pig embryo, known as a chimera, is then implanted into a sow and is allowed to develop for 28 days. Then the pregnancy is terminated and the tissue removed for analysis. The chimera would develop into a normal pig, but one with a human pancreas that would be ready to be harvested for transplant. Human-induced pluripotent stem cells are adult cells that have been reprogrammed into stem cells. They can develop into any tissue in the human body, including corneas, lungs, hearts, livers, and kidneys. With pigs serving as biological incubators for human organs, scientists could potentially grow any organ when needed. However, a major concern is that the human stem cells could migrate to the pig embryo's brain, which would make it somewhat human-like. The research is highly controversial, as many are worried that growing human organs in pigs may lead to a new source of animal abuse, despite the fact that it may help to ease the shortage in organ donations in the U.S. Scientists in the U.S. have developed a regenerated kidney that successfully produced urine after being transplanted into a living animal. The old cells in the rat's kidney were first removed using detergents, leaving behind the underlying scaffold of connective tissue such as blood vessel. The scaffold was then seeded with human umbilical vein cells and kidney cells from newborn rats. After cultivation in an organ bioreactor for 12 days, the regenerated kidney was able to produce urine and be implanted into rats. The resulting organs only produced around one-third as much urine as normal kidneys. A group of researchers from Oregon Health and Science University succeeded in using cloning to create human embryonic stem cells, paving the way for development of replacement tissue to treat diseases. The process involved first taking skin cells from a patient with a genetic disease, Next, an unfertilized donor egg was stripped of its DNA. The skin cell was then placed within the cell membrane of the donor egg. Electricity was used to prompt the egg cell to divide and grow into an embryo. 
Stem cells were then extracted. These can be used to grow muscle, liver, and nerve cells, which can be transplanted into the original patient without risk of rejection. Opponents have called for a ban on the experimentation of human embryos, calling the practice unethical.